Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to make a simple vending machine um, with Python and the BGE, and I'm just getting started. So to start off, I'm going to go to layer 2 right here and do spacebar and then add a cylinder, because we want to create an object that we're actually going to be um, creating or buying, essentially, since we're doing a vending machine. I'll just rename this as, let's say, bottle or something like that. I'll give it a color. This color will, let's say, be blue. And let's give this rigid body physics. Rigid body like this. Alright, so we should see if we hit play, it'll drop like this. Let's go back now to layer 1. I'm going to click on the camera, hit X delete, right click on the light, hit X delete. And on this cube right here, I'm going to make this our player. And I'm going to go from defaults to game logic and blender render to blender game. And on our player, the player is going to have a property, an integer property called money, like this. And I'm going to set it to 25, like so. Okay, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give um, make this an actor, like our player an actor like this. And I might apply just a yellow coloring to our player like this as well. Alright, let's now do spacebar and then add a cube again. Alright. And you don't really have to, but I might just make this into a simple vending machine really quick. So I'll do like S, Z, and 2. Um, I'll go into tab mode. I'll hit tab to go into edit mode. I'll right click on this face right here. Do W subdivide. I'm going to hit um, right click and merge these faces together. And then do W inset faces like this. And I'm going to bring this in just a little bit. So I've kind of created what looks like a vending machine. Okay. Now that I have this, I'm going to do object, snap, and then cursor to selected. And do spacebar and then add an empty object. This empty object will be a cube. I'll scale this down like this and I'll hit Z and I'll put this just in the opening right here. And I'll drag it up just a little bit. S to scale it down. And what we're going to do is have an always sensor on this. We're going to have a near sensor on this um, object as well, this new empty object, near. And we're going to have it be near to, let's say, player. I'll put like a distance of 5 and then a reset distance of 6. Alright, and then we're going to have a mouse sensor. I'll call this click, click like so, click this tap button and minimize this, add a python controller like this, and connect these like this. Okay, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is do templates python, and then game logic simple, delete the portion I've highlighted right here, and hit control and scroll up to make our text larger, and rename this as script.py like this and add this right here. Let's now define our near and our click sensor. So near is going to equal const that sensors, um, const that sensors near. Oops, I'm sorry. And click is going to equal controller that sensors click like so. Okay, now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to get the current scene into our game. So let's have scene is going to be go bg.logic.gets current scene. And we're going to have player is going to be equal scene.objects player. And all right, what we want to do is we want to have a thing inside of our code that says if near.positive, so if we're near the vending machine, and if click.positive and player money is greater than or equal to five indicating that he has at least five dollars or euros or whatever you want to call it what we're going to do is have player money is going to minus equal five and we're going to do scene dot add objects and we're going to add an object into our game our bottle we're going to have it be at own and let put zero like this to make sure that it's not going to delete okay so what we should do now is I'll right click on our player and add the property player like so and when I click this right here to make sure it's static I might scale this down right here a little bit I'll right click back on the player hit the I right here and do game and then show debug properties and do game and then show physics visualization so if we hit P we can see we're inside of our um, the bubble for the vending machine if I click it'll spawn an object as you can see right here and that object will drop. So hold on, let me check one thing. Um, 
I'll actually take off the physics visualization. We should see that every time we click this object, it'll spawn a new object. So we just keep buying cans. And something that we might want to add is on our um, bottle in our second layer, I'll right click on it. I'm going to add a near sensor on this one. And let's have near player, or on player, sorry. So if we're near the object player with a uh, distance of five, reset of, reset of six, like our vending machine, I'm going to add a mouse sensor, mouse like this, rename this as a, uh, well, actually we don't really need to rename it as anything, I'll just do click, minimize this. What we want to do is if both of those happen, we want to send a message called bottle, and then we want to delete the bottle. And this will be able to, and we're gonna, what we're going to do is pick up the item that we buy so that we can add properties to another thing. So, if I connect these like this, we should see, I'll actually rename this, I'll actually put this as a space bar just so we don't interfere with our, um, our actual buying of our bottle. So if we go back into here, we should see, if I hit P, I can left click to buy the bottle and space bar to pick it up. And we can just keep doing this. But what we want to do now is I'll right click on the player, add a property called bottles, and we should see, and we want to have it so that every time we buy a bottle, this property is going to go up by one. So let's have if we receive the message bottle, like this. So every time we pick up a bottle, it's going to go up by one. So we're going to have property, change this to add, we're going to add bottles by one. So if we connect this right here, we should see if I do I like this, we've got bottles in the top left corner. I'll hit the left button to buy, and we've picked up a new one, like so. All right, everyone, so this is how you make a simple vending machine with Python and the BGE. I hope you guys find this very useful, and thanks for watching, everyone. I'll show you the script just for one more second. So what we've got here is we want to make sure that if we're near the vending machine and if we click and the player still has money, take away some money and then buy a bottle or, or spawn a bottle of um, water, ammo, or whatever you want into the game. Um, in layer two, you want to have a near sensor on your bottle as well to make sure that when you're near the player and you click that the bottle will delete. And you want to have it send a message before it deletes so that the player knows to, you know, add an object into the game. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.